Hello everybody, and as you can see we've nearly finished our um, castle reflection piece now. I've done quite a bit of prep work since the last time, which I haven't videoed myself doing because it's techniques we've already used um, in this set of videos. So I'll show you what I've done, and then what I'm going to do is just take, or take you through finishing off this little bit of scroll work down here. So what I've done since the last time is obviously I finished my griffins off, which was from the last tutorial, and then I've done all of the leaves in the foreground, and all this is is block colour in lighter green and darker green glitter gel pen. That's all it is on both sides. Dead easy. And then my little blue bird down here is just a light blue and a dark blue glitter gel pen, and I've just used a little bit of gold pen on his beak and on his feet and I've coloured the key in with just a black fine liner. The grass in the background um, I didn't video because all it is is if you've done this sunset then all of the grass is really just an upside down sunset so you can see where I've got the lightest colour green going in an arc around there around the path and all you do is turn your book upside down and do exactly the same technique as you use to build up the sunset only in the green colours and for my Prismacolor pencils that is yellow chartreuse, chartreuse, spring green, apple green, grass green and peacock green and because there's only six colours here they're actually in bands of roughly about two centimetres and it literally just is exactly the same principle only in reverse upside down as how you've made the effect for the sunset with all of those red colours. Now, my original, um, what I did in terms of the outside, the scroll work, I actually coloured everything in um, like a, a gold metallic uh, card maker's pen. But a few of you have been asking me about how to make realistic gold scroll work. So how do I make something look metallic without using metallic pens or pencils? So that's what I've done. I've, I've made the, um, the outside of the scrolls kind of a bronze and gold using some pencils, which I'll show you in, the minute, in, a, in a minute. And I've chosen to use the same colours as the Griffin, just so that it kind of matches a little bit. And it's, it's meant to be kind of a bronze and gold metal effect, and I'll show you how to get that. You can see the leaves, the leaves of the outside of the frame, again, are just a dark green outer and a light green in a glitter gel pen. So moving swiftly on, I'm going to finish these two pieces of scroll work off here. And what I'm going to do is, if you just bear with me, I'm going to zoom in so that you can see better what I'm doing. So I might need to move my book over a little bit. Like that. And it's right in the bottom corner. There we go. You should be able to see that. I'm just going to place my pencil on the two pieces of scroll work that I'm going to show you how to colour in, which is that one and that one. And we're going to do it in exactly the same effect as I've used with the others. So I'm going back to the to similar colours that I had for the lion. So I've got out my Prismacolor pumpkin orange, uh, mineral orange, goldenrod, yellow ochre and then for to make the sheen of the metal I've, I've got my cream pencil and I'm going to start with the deepest one first so I'm going to put my others to one side and I'm just going to take my pumpkin orange colour and again we're thinking about light and shadow so what we want is for the shadows or the, the places at the back um, and what would be in shadow of the scrolls to be in the deepest colour and then we'll work our way forwards until we get to the lightest so all I'm going to do is Gently, gently mark out on these two little scrolls here. And then with a little bit of a firmer hand, colour in like that. So I've got myself a little edge where I'm going to blend of a lighter touch on the outside. Then what I'm going to do is, on the inside edge of these two little pieces of fretwork, I'm going to do exactly the same. And again on these two, just at the bottom, where the scroll work would be darker. And I think probably, again, this little bit kind of behind his tail, I'm just going to block colour that in the darkest. 
and then we can put our pumpkin orange down. And this is the exact same principle for I've used for all of the fretwork around the outside. So now I'm going to take my second darkest, which is my mineral orange, and I'm just going to build up the lighter colour around what I've done. So I'm just going to gently put myself in a little band there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this big scroll off. So I want kind of the, the end of it to be in this colour. So I'm just gently marking myself out lightly, a little line there, and then everything else gets a firmer hand. Just right the way around here, like that. Same thing where I put the pumpkin down before. I'm just going to make it slightly lighter bands. And this will just make the effect of your framework being met metallic without having to use either a, a gold pen or metallic pencils. So I'm just doing exactly the same at this end of the scroll as I did at the other. And again on this smaller one. So I think I'll probably take it, see this is where you can get clever, his tail crosses this scroll here. Now you can get away with not blending at all there, so I'm just going to block colour that bit in and pretend that the blending happens behind his tail, because you can see where we've taken it to on this one that it probably would. So if you don't have to blend, and it's a good, it's a good tip actually for when you're doing these, these leaves, because you can put your blend lines behind a lot of these leaves, and it just saves you blending where you don't have to blend. There was nowhere to hide in the sunset because it's just a blank space. But if you can get colours to change behind things that are in the design, then do it. So again, just lightly there. And then I can put this colour down. So I'm going to go to my mid colour, which is my golden rod. And I'm just going to finish these two off. Just scumble blending that in. And I take that and just make myself a little marker lightly and then firmer over everything else. And again, same thing on here, just take it up slightly. Like that. And then I can put this one down. So I'm going to go to my second lightest, which is my yellow ochre. And I'm just going to finish this little bit off here, like that. I'm going to only do a tiny little strip, because I want that middle to be where the light's going to reflect. So I'm just going to put myself a tiny bit there, and again on this one. Put that down, and then this is the clever part. So you're using cream to blend and press firm over all of this, press firmly and it'll just give you that impression of light shining off metal and all you're doing is using pencils, you're just using them in a clever way to make it look like it's metallic fretwork and that is us done and as I say I've just used that same technique throughout all of the scroll, scroll work around the edges so we have a finished piece so I hope you enjoyed doing this one with me. I think um, the next one that I'll do is possibly pastel pencils because we've covered a lot of the techniques you've asked me to now in the normal colouring pencils. And a lot of you have been asking me about tips and tricks for pastel blocks and pastel pencils. Uh, what, uh, soft chalk pastels rather than oil pastels. So hopefully in a couple of weeks time we'll start and have a look at pastels. But in the meantime, if you've got any questions, drop me a line. Thanks guys, bye.